Undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Who next? Right hand shot. There's another knockdown. Oh, yeah. Vladimir Klitschko, a long-reigning heavyweight king, Olympic champion, and a veteran of 69 professional fights with 64 victories, 54 of them by knockout. Vladimir held various championship titles for 4,282 days, more than 12 years, and participated in 23 successful title defenses in the heavyweight division, setting a record that even surpassed Muhammad Ali and Joe Louis. We could talk for a long time about the achievements of the younger Klitschko brother, but we must also mention his setbacks and challenging periods in his career. Today, we will specifically discuss one of such periods, namely Vladimir's fight against Samuel Peter. On April 10, 2004, Vladimir Klitschko suffered a defeat to Lamont Brewster. This loss was extremely tough for Vladimir, as he not only lost his championship title, but also faced significant emotional turmoil. Many fans turned away from him, and most experts wrote off his championship ambitions and career prospects. However, Vladimir did not retire, but continued to fight. He first secured a controversial victory over Davarl Williamson. Wanted to see. Let's see if Klitschko unleashes the right again. Klitschko doesn't have an uppercut to speak of. But he keeps pumping that jab. He's beating the people he's supposed to beat. Oh, 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 oh. And then delivered a technical knockout to Cuban boxer Eliseo Castillo. Da war sie wieder die rechte auf die Deckung allerdings. Und gleich der linke Kopfhaken von Vladimir Klitschko hinterher. Und wieder die rechte und getroffen. Und da sitzt er zum ersten Mal auf dem Rosenboden. These two wins propelled Vladimir back to the top of the boxing rankings and earned him a spot in a championship eliminator. The next opponent for the Ukrainian boxer was the young and promising Nigerian fighter, Samuel Peter. Peter made his professional debut in 2001 and by 2005 he had participated in 24 fights winning 21 of them by knockout. Before facing Vladimir Klitschko, the Nigerian had not fought against top heavyweight boxers and instead opted for opponents who were mostly journeymen. Despite this, Peter had served as a sparring partner for Lennox Lewis and Hassim Rahman. In 2001, he was also one of Vladimir Klitschko's sparring partners during Vladimir's preparation for a fight against Charles Shufford. According to Emmanuel Stewart, Peter was the most dangerous heavyweight boxer at the time. The entire team of Vladimir Klitschko, including his brother Vitaly, was deeply concerned for Vladimir, and none of them wanted this fight. However, Vladimir himself insisted on facing Peter. Vladimir was not the clear favorite in this matchup. For example, former trainers of Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson, Angelo Dundee and Teddy Atlas, respectively, did not believe in the Ukrainian and saw the Nigerian as the victor in the fight. Vladimir himself commented on this bout as follows. This fight was a turning point in my career. I was on the decline. They called me a walking corpse, while Peter was one of the rising stars. He was a killer in the ring with a high knockout percentage. He won almost all of his fights by knockout. I remember after each fight he would shout, Who's next? Undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Who next? That's the winner, combo ganador for knockout technical. Who next? Samuel the Nigeria Nightmare Peter. The next one was Klitschko. Sam Pena's trainer, Pop Sanderson, said he's going to go across the ring and hit Vladimir with a right hand and knock him out.
Peter took the center of the ring and started working as the aggressor. Vladimir adopted a more defensive style, attempting to keep his opponent at a distance and landing light jabs. The first and second rounds went into the Ukrainians' favor. You tall, take advantage of your height and reach. Vladimir Klitschko is boxing. Sam right, Peter right, isn't right, sure right, what to do. Right, the left. Good left hook inside by Klitschko. He hasn't hurt Peter yet, but he's making solid impact. In the third round, the dynamics shifted slightly as Peter managed to land a few good shots. However, overall, Vladimir still appeared to have the upper hand. He fires it down the pipe. There's a body shot. Try to take some of the steam out of Peter's power punching. Peter looping. Powerful arms. There's a big left hook by... In the fourth round, there was a fairly intense exchange, with the Ukrainian being more successful. In the middle of the fifth round, Samuel managed to connect with a left hook and rocked Klitschko, eventually causing him to go down for a knockdown. You can't take those jabs like that all night. You just can't do it. You've got to do something to stop it. Make something. Peter hit Klitschko. This is the first knockdown. Right on the back of the head. I'm not sure. Klitschko got up and continued to fight, and Peter didn't let up, sending Vladimir to the canvas once again. Peter makes clear he's ready for an all-out war now. Exactly caused that, whether it was a combination of fatigue and again. But Klitschko, uh, like a hero from a Hollywood blockbuster, rose to his feet and resumed the battle. So the boxing match is over. As George Foreman has pointed out. Hold him anymore, he's gonna just get mad. And Peter is mad. Rounds six through nine were dominated by Klitschko, who tried to outbox his opponent while Peter attempted to conserve his energy for later rounds. Klitschko continued to clinch with Peter, but the Nigerian found a way to break free from the clinches and circle around Vladimir's back before landing punches to the back of his head. Even after the referee gave the stop command, Peter kept throwing punches. Flat-footed as he threw that. Right Let's go ahead. get some around. Another right in the head. But be as it may. I saw a lot of skill. He's holding. Too much holding. Don't get me wrong. But I call that skill when you're right, fighting right, a punch. Round seven. And Peter. Peter picks his left hook. Crosses the back foot with the left hook. Two. Moves to his left. Whenever he moves to Peter's left, he has big right way. Don't follow a puncher around without throwing. The tenth round initially resembled the previous rounds, but towards the end of the round, Peter launched a successful attack that caught Klitschko off guard. Vladimir began to retreat, and Peter executed a well-placed straight right to Vladimir's jaw, causing him to go down for the third time in the fight. Once again, Peter hits Klitschko on the back of the head. He'll find out. Let him go, let him go, let him go. It's streaming out of Peter's mouth. He lands the right hand across the top. Vladimir Klitschko's hurt. Vladimir in the corner, trying to duck and slip. Klitschko lands a right hand. Peter lands a right hand. Neither man goes down. This is a moment of truth for Klitschko. Let's see the shot. An overhand right on the jaw. You're never out of his range. Down he goes. You're good. Only seven seconds left in the tenth round. The Klitschko may not know that. During the break between the 10th and 11th rounds, the doctor approached the Ukrainian's corner to assess if Klitschko could continue the fight. He decided that Vladimir could, and within a minute, Klitschko left everyone in awe. He fully returned to the fight and started landing precise, powerful punches. Klitschko left hook lands for Peter. Peter tries to... In the 11th round, Klitschko attempted to keep Peter at bay with straight punches before clinching. Who has the guts? Who has the courage? Who has the self-possession to get through these hills, begin to surface again? Sam Peter either. 
But Klitschko's not too exhausted. Well, not many people. Back and forward and rocking like a fan. Right hand lands for Vladimir. The massive strength. In the 12th round, Peter went on the offensive again, which proved to be successful for him. However, with about a minute and a half left in the round, Vladimir Klitschko managed to land a left hook, which for the first time in the entire fight, rocked his opponent. Still, he hesitated to follow up and waited for the final bell. Klitschko trying to do a Muhammad Ali. He's doing a good job of it, too. <laughs> he lands a huge one. Certainly he showed he's had stamina. Oh, the left hook wobbles Peter. Now how aggressive will Klitschko be? With the big left hook. Klitschko last round and stand up. A big right hand brings blood from Peter's nose. Both eyes closed. Vladimir. Ten seconds, Peter's only got. Vladimir Klitschko survives. And Vladimir's trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, had these words to say after the fight. It was the most dramatic 12th round in my 56 years of boxing experience. Vitali kept asking me, Emmanuel, can he win this? We felt that he was ahead on points, and we prayed to God that he would survive that round. Make something. Peter hit cuts all out war now. This is a moment of truth for Klitschko. After this fight, Vladimir defeated Chris Bird and once again became the world champion, winning championship belts from the IBF and IBO. He held on to them until 2015. It's the first fight with Samuel Peter that is considered pivotal in the career of the younger Klitschko. At that moment, Vladimir stood at a crossroads. One path led to retirement and a sporting pension, while the other led to years of dominance in the heavyweight division fame and recognition as one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time.